Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the comdlg32.ocx is missing or invalid error you're getting on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you're going to start by opening up a web browser. So I'm going to have a link in the description of my video to this bioinformatics.org webpage here to actually download the comdlg32 file. So it should be a hyperlink right near the top of the page here. You want to just go ahead and left click on that one time. You should begin downloading the file. So if you have this type of file can harm your computer, just select keep. Don't, don't be too concerned about that. It's just because the file type here, that's why it's being detected. You're more than welcome to run a virus total scan or whatnot, and you'll find that it's a safe file. So you want to go click on the little upward facing arrow here, and then select show in folder. I'm going to minimize out of the web browser, and I'm going to go ahead and just move that over to the desktop. Now that it's on the desktop here, you want to go ahead and open up the file explorer. So open up the start menu, type in file explorer, or you can also open up the taskbar icon for it too, whatever you prefer. Go underneath File Explorer here. Select the View tab up at the top. On the far right side, select Options. Select the View tab. And underneath Hidden Files and Folders, you want to select Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. And then left click on Apply and OK. Once you're done with that, now you want to go left click on this PC on the left side. Go double click on whatever drive Windows is installed on. It should be a little Windows icon above the hard disk icon. So go ahead and double click on that. Now that you've done that, now you want to go underneath Windows. So double click on Windows. Now keep in mind there's going to be a divergence in this tutorial if you're running a Windows 32-bit versus a 64-bit version of the operating system. So if you're running a 64-bit version of Windows, you want to look for a folder that says SysWow64. If you're running a 32-bit version of Windows, you want to select System32. So 32-bit system, you want to select System32. 64-bit Windows, you want to select SysWow64. should be all capital letters. So just keep that in mind. I'm on a 32-bit system here, and that's why it says System32. Most people who are watching this video are probably going to be on a 64-bit computer. You want to select the SysWow64 folder, even if you see a System32 folder here as well. So go ahead and double click on whatever folder I suggested you guys select for your version of Windows. And now you want to go take that file we brought over to our desktop and just drop it in. So just left click, hold down on the file, drop in the folder until where it says move to. And in my case, it says System32. It's going to drop it down in here. It will say you'll need to provide administrator permission to move to this folder. Select continue by left clicking on that one time. Once you're done with that, close out of here, restart your computer, and hopefully that has been able to resolve the problem. Now, if you are still experiencing a problem, another thing we can try and do would be to open up the star menu, type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt. You want to go ahead, right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. And now I'm going to have a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it directly as it appears in my description. So just copy it, Command C, or right click copy once you've highlighted it. And then in this command prompt window, right click on the top bar, left click on edit, and then left click on paste. Once it's pasted in here, it should start with an REG SVR32. And once you have it in here, just hit the enter key on your keyboard should say had, has been registered successfully or should say succeeded. Click on OK, close out of here, restart your computer, and that should hopefully be about it. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you guys for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.